It is day seven of 24 days of whiskey and beer. Seven. We got the single grain scotch whiskey 15 years from the Highland region in Vergadon first fill bourbon. Oh yeah, come on. No, nah, you ain't doing this to me today, Papa. Uh -huh. <laughs> we got the Bambouli Pilsner, the Uberquel. Okay, I'm loving this can, 5.0. All right, day seven, that 15 year old single grain scotch. No water this time. For the nose, we got sugared rum, ripe Mirabelle plums, Bailey's cream, vanilla, toffee, hot coffee. Ooh, all right, for the sniff. The Bailey's is heavy on this one, along with that, that, that Mirabelle plum. I don't know how Mirabelle's plums is different from regular people's plums, but I be smelling the plums. For the palate, we got sweet, almost liqueur-like, oily, caramel, Bailey's, marzipan, vanilla, with a menthol, honey, bitter finish. Newport's on deck. Oh yeah, I knew from the nose that this was gonna be a very liqueur-like kind of vibe. Almost like licorice-like. Not bad though. <coughs> we got the bamboo Pilsner. There go to pop, here go to pour. The aroma is crazy. Already thumbs up with the aroma. A very hoppy, look at that head. Look at that head. Color and foam, very hazy, very hazy, but I don't mind it. I like a good hazy beer. Thumbs up, aroma, a little bit of bitters. Let's go for that taste. Wow, way more skunky than I would have thought. Kind of a bitter aftertaste. If you're somebody who's not a fan of things like IPAs because of their aftertaste, stuff like that, I like it. It's what kind of differentiates. Oh, it's still there. Wow, and a Pilsner? Last but not least, we're gonna do color. Color. Label, can art, this is dope. I know some people might consider it tacky, faux pas, but in a world of German beers where you might get encouraged to be a little bit more traditional, being a little zany is rewarded, at least in my eyes. Check out all tomorrow.